My name is Bernie Horn. I'm the president of the University Heights Community Association. And today we're here to rededicate the Vermont Street Bridge. If you've been in and around the neighborhood over the uh, past oh, couple months, you've been seeing a lot of activity here. Um, as part of our 125th anniversary celebration here in the neighborhood of University Heights, we had hoped to have this bridge repainted, cleaned up, and straightened out so that it would look beautiful, just like our neighborhood, um, for the event uh, August 10th. Uh, Saturday, August 10th, right. Uh, today, a lot of the people that are here uh, were very instrumental in, first of all, getting the bridge rebuilt uh, from its original structure, and secondly, getting it redone and repainted. So I'm going to start by turning this over to Todd Gloria. Todd is the council district person for us in this neighborhood. Todd? Thank you, Bernie. Thank you. Thank you, Bernie. Hello, University Heights. Yeah. Are you fired up about this bridge? Yeah. Is it, it hasn't looked better in years, right? Yeah. And did we get the right color? I knew the color was very important. When, when I saw the scaffolding go up, I got more than a few phone calls at the office about it's going to be cobalt blue again, right? And uh, the city staff, Tony knew, it always had to be that color blue. And I think they did a magnificent job. Uh, this bridge is a treasured part of this community. Uh, it was not looking up to par for a little bit, uh, but we were able to work with then Mayor Sanders, uh, Tony and his team and others uh, to cobble together the funds to get this done. Now, I will. I think some of you know, the ones who are calling the office, it was a little bit of a miracle to get this done in time for the 125th anniversary. Uh, but I think that everyone in the city staff knew this was important to University Heights and we needed to get it done before Saturday. And like more often than not, the city staff delivered. And so Tony, to your team, thank you so much for what they did, along with the great contractors who I think did a pretty good job. This is not an easy work to do, to not shut down Washington Street for a great good length of time, uh, to really get the job done right. And I think they did a good job. We know there was a little bit of noise that was involved, but you know that should hold up for a few more uh, years and it'll look great as a result. Now, we, uh, we love our pedestrian-oriented communities here in District 3. Uh, we like being able to walk to and fro, but of course, Washington Street is a bit of a barrier uh, to linking uptown with University Heights or Hillcrest and University Heights. Uh, this bridge was historically here for quite some time, but like the paint that was uh, recently retouched, uh, it didn't always look its best and at one point kind of fell in disrepair. And it was the community who came together uh, to create a new bridge for a new century and for a new uh, a new. Uh, uh, way for us to go forward. Now, it was not an accident. It was not easily done. I was not here for it. I was in high school. <laughs> that was for you, Ron. Uh, but <laughs> But all, many of you were involved in the Community Heights, uh, University Heights Community Association, the Uptown Planners and others came together. In particular, I want to call, call out uh, 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 Stone Paper Scissors. And we have uh, both Gwen and Lynn who are here. Ladies, thank you so much. Now, we build bridges, but we can have just any old bridge in District 3, right? I mean, it's got to be beautiful. It's got to have art. It's got to inspire. And this bridge has been doing that for decades now. Uh, and of course, at that time, as with most things that get done uh, in council districts, you had to have a champion to do it. And it's my pleasure to introduce uh, the then council member who worked hard with the community to give us back a Vermont Street Bridge that is up to the caliber of District 3. Uh, you all know and love him as your supervisor, but he was the councilman that got the job done. Can you put your hands together for our county supervisor, Ron Roberts? Thank you. Now, uh, Todd said he was in high school. <laughs> Just so you know, he and I were together recently in Old Town, and it was even worse. <laughs> because I was talking about when I had used to be on the planning group in Old Town, he wasn't even born. <laughs> So you're catching up, okay. Todd. <laughs> I hope we have something more recent to do here in the near future. And just so any of you don't confuse why I'm here. I wasn't here then, okay. <laughs> but I was here, and this bridge actually spanned between two districts at one time. Oh, right. And it was Christine Keo who was on this side of the street, and I was on the other side of the street. and. Uh, some of you may remember what the bridge that preceded this one looked like. Now, to give you an idea how important this paint is, in that old bridge, it was the paint that held it together. That was the only thing holding that from complete collapse. And there were people that were saying, oh, it's historic. 
it was a historic mess. And there was nothing nice about it. It was dangerous, it was rickety, and it didn't, it was, it was iconic in the maybe the wrong sense. This is iconic in, this, in a positive sense in every way where it becomes a signature piece for the community. And it's only gotten better with the addition of the artwork and, the, and now the, the painting and the other things that have happened even since this uh, bridge was first dedicated. And I was honored to be a, a part of that to help to put together the funding and make sure we, we got this done and make sure it was done right. And the fact that it's held up and that this community is seeing that it's being maintained, it's very, very important. So a tip of the hat to the, uh, the University Heights Community Association Beautification and Planning Committee. Wow, what a mouthful. They deserve a little bit of applause here. In any event, it's good to see so many of you here interested in a bridge and that this is remain an important part of our community. It, uh, it looks good. And by what has happened here, it's making all of us look good, I think. Uh, maybe giving us something positive in government to focus on. And uh, it's, it's always good to be here with, uh, with Todd, no matter how young he is. Uh, but it's, uh, I'm appreciative of uh, what you have done personally to make this happen. And uh, I live not too far from here. I go under this bridge frequently, and I'm glad to see that it's, uh, it's looking really good today. Thanks for, for all of you for the help and the support that you've provided. Thank you. As the head of the local planning chair, I cannot emphasize how important planning board. I cannot emphasize how important this bridge is to Uptown. It's connecting University Heights with the rest of Uptown. I've lived in this neighborhood long enough to remember crossing the old wooden bridge. That used to be considered an act of bravery. I think those of you who remember, because it creaked under you, and you didn't know if you were going to make it or the bridge would go down. My uncle used to tell me when he went to Horace Mann as a kid, and this was not 125 years ago, but pretty close, and they used to ride their bike across this to get to the school. So, but when they took that bridge out, it was trying to get from here into the shopping center and everything else, it was like going through a canyon. So it's wonderful to have seen this bridge built initially, and it's wonderful they're keeping it in good condition, so we'll keep this one for a long period of time. I also want to say to everybody in University Heights, and as I think a lot of you know I've lived in University Heights, this is a wonderful community. Uh, tomorrow we have our Uptown Planners meeting and we're discussing uniting all of University Heights and Uptown, which I hope will certainly happen. But thanks again, and this is a wonderful event. Good afternoon. Um, my name is Carol Neitenberg, and I'm vice president of the University Heights Community Association and chair of the, uh, the University Heights 125th um, anniversary. To continue along in the theme of age, I've lived in University Heights for 25 years, and when I first moved here from Mission Hills, Ron, um, people would say, oh, City Heights or University City. And I've noticed through the years how people have really changed. Uh, what they think uh, and how proud they are of the community and we so appreciate your recognition your involvement to making it better a better place to live and I think that's what we're all here today to celebrate the the impressive amazing community a great neighborhood great neighbors I would be remiss tonight if I didn't call out one particular person and that's Mary Beth who has uh, single-handedly single-handedly with a group of people, Mary Beth, who have really come together to bug the city, to bother the city and everyone else to make sure that this bridge is painted in time for our 125th anniversary. Why is this important? Because I think this is one of the gateways to University Heights. We're also working with uh, the supervisor's office to come up with some beautification. Mary Beth is working with her committee. We're working with Supervisor Roberts to come up with banners. We're working with restaurants and businesses in the community to spiff up the neighborhood on the Washington Corridor and around Park. And we really appreciate 
all that you have done, the rock and roll marathon, for example, the cleanup that extraordinary people here have helped to create a really beautiful community. Um, so we invite you all to come to Saturday's event at the Trolley Bond Park to celebrate the 125th anniversary. University Heights was subdivided on August 6th, 1888. And what's today? What? Oh my gosh, it's tomorrow. So <laughs> tomorrow is the 125th anniversary of the community being uh, carved out. And I read an article that Nan had in one of her many books that uh, quoted the Union Trib in 1984 that said University Heights has been nibbled away. I love that expression. By North Park, by Hillcrest, by Normal Heights. And I want to say that this week, this celebration, including Saturday, is our saying our neighborhood is no longer going to be nibbled away. We're here, we're 125 years, and we hope to be here for another 125 years. So come out, have fun. We're having a party on Saturday. Bring your neighbors, bring your kids. We'll have our elected officials come again and welcome you. So thank you very much for all your support and your great work. Thank you. Thank you, Council President Gloria and Supervisor Roberts and other speakers. My name is Tony Heinrichs. I'm the director of the city's public works department. And our department was a proud sponsor in uh, completing the repainting of the Vermont Street Bridge. Uh, we appreciate the support from uh, uh, Council President Gloria's office. But even more, we appreciated the patience and the attention of the community. As you've heard, this wasn't an easy project to complete. You would think that a routine maintenance painting project would be um, routine, but this was any, anything but. Uh, we had a host of technical problems to overcome, uh, including uh, putting up special scaffolding and a wrap uh, to keep the sandblasting contained. Uh, we also had problems with the contracting process, and that's always a risk that we run because we have to follow the state public contracting code. Uh, we happened to get a low bidding uh, contractor who was deemed not responsive. We had to take steps to get them removed from the process. Uh, actually, that's uh, leading to a default action. So we uh, were able to get the surety to turn this uh, contract over to General Coatings, who did an out absolutely outstanding job. I um, want to thank Mary Beth and the council office uh, who uh, kept on us. They made it clear that delay was not an option. So we did the best we could. And uh, since the ceremony or the- uh, so since the uh, anniversary is uh, just tomorrow, it uh, looks like we got it done just in time. Uh, so in the end, we got a, a very uh, well, uh, well uh, respected uh, contractor to come in, uh, General Coatings. I'd like to thank uh, Craig Kinsman and Mike Stevenson and Rafael Rodriguez from General Coatings on the fine job that you did. We appreciate your willingness to step up and handle uh, this complicated job with a minimum of um, uh, confusion and, and uh, delay. I'm also very proud to recognize Isaac Vallejo, who was the city's resident engineer in this project. Thank you, Isaac, for all the great work you did. <laughs> Isaac worked very closely with Gaetano Mertetti, our project manager, and with Gilbert Calderon from uh, the corrosion team to make sure that this project would be up to the standards of the community. And as you can see, the team did a great job and we're very proud to have helped everyone enjoy this refurbished link between University Heights and the uptown communities. Thank you very much. Bernie, I gotta fight the mic for this. And one thing, this actually this is good because I forgot one thing. You all see I sit in council meetings all day, right? So I wanna give a lot of credit uh, to Dion Akers, Courtney Thompson, and Anthony Bernal from my staff who work closely with all of you to get this done. And uh, they, they definitely deserve some, uh, some appreciation. And I think it's now time to cut the ceremonial ribbon, is that right? All right, you guys ready for this? You got your cameras ready? Let's go do it. One, two, 